To open the Model Builder program, you can choose a scale or choose a custom ratio. Or choose to open a project you made previously. Here we see the design screen. At the top, there are three main image categories. For the sample building we are making today, I'm going to select a brick material from the brick material palette. I choose the brick palette from the list and scroll over to see all of the available patterns. Let's stop here for a moment and review some of the available tools that I have to work with. There are rulers on the top and left side of the design screen that tell me the size and location of my image. I can use ruler units in printed inches or actual feet or actual meters. I prefer to work in actual feet for my projects since I find it easier to think of a seven foot door instead of how many inches the door should be in my scale. Let's select that ruler now. I also have measurement boxes here in the top left corner that tell me the width and height of my item as well as the distance from the left and the distance from the top edge of my project. When working with materials, the crop paint tool is selected by default. I can change to stretch if desired. I have clicked and dragged on the white sizing square to seamlessly paint more material across the screen. I can also change my material dimensions by typing in what I want in the top dimension boxes. For today's project, I am making a two-story building. You can make larger buildings, and if you find you need more pages, you can go to Page Setup and add a page either horizontally or vertically. I'm going to add some windows. I click on the Window Door drop-down category list and choose the Factory Windows palette. For objects such as windows, doors, and trim, the stretch mode is selected by default. I resize this window a little smaller by dragging the black sizing squares. I would like more panes in the factory window, so I switch modes by clicking on the crop paint tool. Now coming back to my window, I drag the white square to the right to add more window panes. I like this window, so I am going to add more of them. I select the window and choose Selection and Duplicate. The keyboard shortcut for this operation is Control-D. Now I have three windows. I need to align and distribute them on my wall. Holding down the shift key, I click on each window. Now I see a blue box around the three windows. I go to Arrange and choose Align Selected. In this case, I want to align top. I also want to distribute my windows with respect to the building wall. Leaving my windows selected, I shift click to add the wall to my group. I go to Arrange and choose Distribute Selection. Preview, Commit, and Close. Next, we will want to copy these three windows to make the lower story. I will click on the wall to deselect it, then use the keyboard shortcut, Control D. My new group is now selected. I move my new group of three windows lower on the wall. Checking my actual feet ruler, I want these windows to top out 10 feet below the top of the upper story windows. So I locate this group with a top of 13 feet. Now we are going to scroll down to add a door to the ground floor. I click on the Windows and Doors category drop-down list, and for this project, I choose Garage Doors from the list. I choose a garage door I like and bring it down to the bottom of the wall. If I needed to, I could resize this door, but I like the current dimension. At this point, I can print the project or add some more detail. I am going to add a generator next to the door, so I go to the other category drop-down list and choose Utilities. Scrolling over, I find the item I want, then bring it into place. Scrolling back up to the top of the building, I want to add some trim. I choose the cornice palette from the other category drop-down list and select a cornice that looks good. I will switch modes to crop off excess material. I click on the wall to check my left and my width. I will be using these measurements for my trim. Now we have a complete building wall. 
I can save this file, then reopen it and make another wall by just deleting the door and adding a window or making other modifications. <laughs>